Hello, this video is a detailed guide to the craftable lock protection items in Scum. I will cover what is required to craft each level of lock protection, the amount of damage each level of lock protection does with and without gloves, and any other important information in regards to the lock protection items in the game. Getting started with items required to craft, for the basic lock protection, you need a minimum of basic engineering skill, two metal needles, five rubber bands, a duct tape with at least 10 uses, and two metal scrap. For the medium lock protection, you need a minimum of medium engineering, one complete basic lock protection, 10 rubber bands, six of the blue batteries, a duct tape with at least 10 uses, six metal, and electrical tools with a minimum of 15 uses. For the advanced lock protection, you need advanced engineering skill, one fully complete medium lock protection, one car battery with at least one out of 100 charge, one car battery cable, a duct tape with a minimum of 10 uses, six metal scrap, one wire with at least five out of 10 uses, and lastly, an electrical tool set with at least 20 out of 25 uses. All right, so moving on to damage output. Note the lock protection damage multiplier server setting used for this video was set to one, which is the default setting. But this setting may vary between servers, which will change the amount of damage outputted by the lock protection, but the ratio will stay the same. Basic lock protection outputs two damage per hit. So if the player is not wearing medical or insulated rubber gloves, the player will take two damage and also get a C1 bleed. Medium lock protection outputs four damage per hit and also gives the player a C1 bleed. Lastly, advanced lock protection will output six damage per hit and will give the player a C1 bleed. Now, if the player lock picking is wearing medical gloves or insulated rubber gloves, he will not take any damage, but the gloves will. Medical gloves take the full amount of damage, while insulated rubber gloves will only take half amount of damage. The next thing I tested was the damage output by multiple lock protections on the same door, which I found that when adding more than one lock protection, the damages will just simply add together. It did not matter if they were the same level of lock protection, both damage would just add together. Some of the other testing I did involved seeing if either the thievery skill or the medical skill had any effect, and I found that neither skill had any effect on the damage taken from the lock protection. I still, however, highly recommend everyone have at least one lock protection on each door because lock protections do ultimately help defend against lock pickers, especially if they are the advanced variety. Please remember that the damage multiplier may be different from server to server, but the ratio of damages between each lock protection will remain the same. Thank you for watching the entire video. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. If you would like to see more weekly scum content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. For more scum guide videos like this one, click on the card above. But like always guys, do good, do have fun, and do be kind. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.